Alrighty, thank you everybody for joining me on this day. It is a beautiful day here in Silver City and what we're going to do today is go over our artichoke balloon painting. Um, it's a unique little painting I thought would go good in people's uh, kitchens maybe, yeah? So um, yeah, here it is from start to finish. Let's get to it. Hello, welcome everybody. How y'all doing? Oh, what's this? Glasses. Ooh, and a cup of coffee. Ooh. All right, cheers everyone. Appreciate y'all for being here. Uh, what do you say we take a gander at this whole painting that we did, I guess, over the past couple years? Granted, I took a year off of YouTube. Do not do that if you're a young YouTuber and you want to like do something. Do not take time off like a year. They're just going to start you over at zero hours. It's not beneficial. But anyway, what do you all say we get to take in a look-see at this painting? Oh, before I start. Alrighty, thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm all about this. Before I start, this up here above me is a little, it's like a goofy code. If you can figure out what it is, it's only part of the code, by the way. So if you can figure it out, comment below and uh, enjoy yourself. Let's go. Spaceman in a boat. Let's go get it. From blank canvas to finished painting. Here it is. Now you will probably see a lot of stuff in the background on that green screen. It's going to be all kinds of stuff like that. Videos I make. I used to stream with the green screen active. Maybe someday I'll do it again, but for now, we're just going to not take away from the paintings and focus on the paintings themselves. And anyway, a lot of the paintings I use are too big for the image around. So this is a small painting, it kind of works. So as you can see there, look at that artichoke. Basically, I'm keeping it kind of like a hot air balloon where it has a maybe a gas area where it holds the fuel and the torch. Steven I was a cat who was homeless came to my house and I was like I'll give you a home bro but he was too Riley he just wanted to go outside a lot and one day he just never came home or maybe he went home anyway still painting the balloon thinking like it's a balloon and then I decide to go full artichoke with it which is a you know big decision speaking of going full artichoke with it if you all want to see some good artwork uh, just artwork Dalton Gallery there is a link below but if you like video gaming and just random mayhem Space Gallery is your place what I generally do is do all my live streams on Space Gallery because I don't know what's gonna happen in the live stream uh, a lot of adult content you know language speaking that is um, so you know I like to keep family-friendly entertainment up top Dalton Gallery 
lot of time lapses, just art happening, you know? The balloon's working out. I'm pretty stoked about it. I've always been pretty stoked about the balloon. It's such a crazy idea. I met a guy in Tucson. Uh, he made balloons, paintings, but he chose like the weirdest things, castles, like the heaviest things, the most ironic things. Um, but my one balloon painting is an artichoke. It's kind of shaped appropriately. It's not too far of a stretch. Maybe. See, you see what I mean? He was just a, a raw kitty. Living the dream, yo. Skies in Mexico. Sorry, I'm looking at the backdrop. The painting itself is coming along just fine, as we can tell. There is a lot of work going on in the artichoke leaves. And that's what the time lapses are very good for, is uh, there are hours spent just hanging out with you guys, talking and petting in these line works. Um, so time lapse kind of shows you, look, stuff is going on. So yeah, this was probably around the holiday season last year. seasons ago you know I was very uh, inspired in the beginning when I was doing the painting and then, then things happen in the world where you have to take time off you gotta do you it's not all about YouTube yo wait who am I telling <laughs> Lots of cloud work. Uh, to get these clouds correct, I mean, already I made the mistake of painting the tops of clouds, so we had to do something with the painting, hence the balloon above the cloud. Um, but once you dedicate something like that, you have to really commit to it and, and go forward and keep pushing and figure out where the light's coming from and work with it. crazy backdrop videos will be on, yes, you guessed it, Space Galleria. music it's uh innocent enough if you show up to my live streams it's uh, a little more aggressive a little more hardcore especially in my gaming live streams uh, my painting live streams right now i'm working on um, a 2009 adobe flash program that's how i stream out front because my computer is so old i have both of my nice computers in here to run my video games so it works thanks to TC, my computer guru. I'm sorry, he's a friend. <laughs> but he does a lot of things. Like being a computer guru. So see, this silly music keeps me out of trouble. If I uh, someday go viral with one of these videos, with your help, share out the video. 
but if if that happens one day and we do something spectacular, you know, the, the people take notice. Um, I can make some money. Definitely not my copyrighted uh, stuff, but I don't care. We're just having fun. I hope you're having fun today too. Gotta be getting close. Oh, we about halfway through the video, everybody. So if you're here in the future, pause it. Go get a drink. Take a break. Come right back. Enjoy the rest of the video. It's just going to be a lot more of me talking and looking at this art and seeing a younger me. watching it come together I like seeing where I put it's kind of like I would probably equate it to when football players watch their football plays or other other teams and they can see where they're hitting where they're where they're loose at you know so I like to see what I did and uh, how, how it pulled out It, it came out fine because the painting is done and it is paint and you can fix anything that you ever make a mistake on. So there's no real worry there. But in the moment, frustration, as well as this kind of stuff, someday I will have proper lighting and proper cameras and it'll all work out. <laughs> You'll be able to see it better. But here, we'll zoom in. Yeah, there we go. And bingo bango, you can kind of see better. A little bit more of the basket motif. I, went, I guess I went with more of a bag. Because it's a, a, a bag of flowers, yeah? So it's wicker. But it has a... Yeah, it looks like... It's just kind of like real thin. It has this, you know, tapered bottom. But of course, that's what an artichoke balloon would be carrying, right? Not people, don't be ridiculous. More highlights. By the way, there. this is when I'm putting in the white in the painting. Pure white. There's. This is the only time the white goes in, which then makes the, you know, the silver linings if you will makes it makes things pop all right we almost done we got four minutes left do not worry I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves thank you very much for uh, joining me on this thanks for the thumbs up thanks for sharing it with your artist friends or family that way they know that they can go to Dalton gallery or Space Galleria. Wakes below. So, in order to create balance and to get the three dimensional kind of perspective, well, I guess I'm not doing it right here. Right here, I'm just working on the basket. Exciting flowers. And I don't pull from reality, so all this is just happening in my mind. I'm not looking at flowers, obviously. Otherwise, I'd have to, like, make them real nice flowers. <laughs> I can kind of get away with some fun stuff, you know, because the style of the painting 
isn't necessarily about reality. And here in the background, I'm laying down some horizontal highlights so that it just all pops back there. We get angles down, 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 down. It's just this zigzag pattern all behind the uh, artichoke balloon. And the artichoke balloon is actually tilting back and the basket is tilting forward. So it pulls and pushes all in the same. I'm kind of explaining that probably in the live stream. And yes, I did not plan any of it. It kind of evolves. It's lucky that I'm not pulling out some kind of Vincent Van Gogh style painting where I'm like, it has to be done now. You know, and then just get it done. These take time. There's literally a log, hence this video. I can go back, download each live stream, and then put together a little compilation of the whole painting. So hour by hour, you can see every painting being done, or join me. Join me on the channel. Appreciate you. Thicker lines go up front. Boom. It's a fun painting. My next step in it is to get it photographed when I travel through Tucson again. And Reproductions Incorporated, they do a great job for my friends. Shout out to Reproductions Incorporated in Tucson. When I was a draftsman, I used to use them and just follow through it because it stinks real bad inside their store. It's got a lot of that heavy inks, yo. So you know they use the good ink <laughs> and the good paper. Good stuff. Let's throw got to be getting to the end here just working my way towards the front of the painting as you can tell just getting all the highlights in front done so it lays down some last for the artichoke and I do believe that's all she wrote yep there it is the signature indeed so that was a lot of fun wasn't it I appreciate you all very much uh, I had to reach down for my, my hat because you know why. I'm going to go back outside. It's too beautiful of a day to hang out inside here, and uh, I hope you all have a wonderful time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Just thanks for enjoying time with me. Once again, uh, 9 p.m., if, you, if you're down, you know, Space Galleria, uh, that's for our video game. And, of course, every day around noon is when we do art. Yeah? Just sort of Tuesdays and Wednesdays. It's kind of like my days off around here. So thank you all very much. I will see you next time. Nope. Let's get out of here.